Hi friends! Very exciting because we're gonna talk bronzers today. My original plan was to film a ranking video hierarchy of the most recent cream bronzers that I picked up. I won't be doing that. I know, so disappointed. The reason being is because the LYS cream bronzer stick, what's the official name? Excuse me, I'm sorry. No Limits cream bronzer stick, almost, arrived yesterday and I just came home today and I don't think it fair for me to rank the LYS when I just tried it for the first time in this video. After I showcase all the bronzers, I'll go back to previously used cream bronzers that are still in my collection and then we'll do the ranking. Does that sound like a plan? Thank you so much for understanding. And if it's your first time here, hi, I'm Alicia, an online coach who specializes in flexibility, body weight, strength, and helping people establish sustainable habits in both nutrition and movement but I also love to talk about the makeup. The way I'll conduct this video is start off with the cream bronzers that enter my life, first, second, third, so on and so forth. We'll swatch them together, compare the undertones, the textures, and you'll see each of them on my face. Yes, you heard that correctly. I got the Bioderma on standby, the Good Molecules on standby. It will be a lot of removing and applying, but generally my skin reacts well to that if I don't do this type of a thing often. And reapplying the NARS Light reflecting foundation. I know such an expensive foundation to use in this manner, but a little goes a long way just to even out the canvas, more so to better showcase the bronzer, but not using a ton each time. I would like to begin with the cream bronzer that probably kick-started. Well, that's not true. Maybe two years ago, the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out cream bronzer definitely was an exciting release. I haven't used them in a while. They're still in the drawer. I know. No, this cream bronzer rekindled my love for this type of a product and it is no other than the Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade medium bronze, light to medium to tan skin with warm undertones. You can see it has a nice emollient look and feel to it and the actual color leans uh, warm as you see, almost a little bit of yellow in there. So that is the say, and a quick note about the texture, just one of the best performing bronzer, cream bronzers that I have used. The reason I gravitate towards this particular product is again, yes, the emolliency, but the lightweight nature of the cream, it does not feel heavy on the skin, very easy to blend. Although it delivers a beautiful dose of color, it's almost like a translucent form Formula. I know that sounds bad, but hear me out. I mix this with other cream blushes because again, the versatility of the texture and the color, you can create more shades from your current collection by mixing the say with other cheek products. And because of the color, I can wear this lower on my face rather than keeping it exclusively high here on the hollows of the cheeks because I do have bronzers in this collection that serve that purpose. But I feel the say is exquisite in delivering that true sun kissed look and I will show you how I like to apply this product particularly with a bigger brush. So this is the Sydney Grace foundation brush. It is synthetic. I like to use synthetic brushes with creams because you can wash them more often as opposed to natural. Although the argument I would use for natural if you find the cream product that you're using might be heavy duty and you need less pickup and more of a natural finish. The say, however, is so carefree in terms of, again, the formula, the color, it just wraps well around my cheeks as you see here. And although a bronzer, just applying that dose from cheekbone to cheek is almost like I have like a bronze cheek color on. It enlivens my face, it boosts my complexion, and again, it just is remarkable in terms of the formula, how easy it is to apply, and shame on me, I know you're so far. Why don't you come in a little closer? <gasps> That's enough. We're in a little close, but I could also back it up if you need to see it from here. So I wanted to show you the Say Dry Down Close Up. It almost takes on the characteristics of a skincare product, like a nice serum you applied, and it has that bounce to the skin where I just think it ultra friendly for multiple skin types, maybe more so normal to dry. I think normal to oily can get away with this 
if they powder before or maybe they just are not into cream products like that at all and they just use powder but let me know down below if you are normal normal to oily and you have the say and it works out and if it does if you take any extra steps to ensure its longevity just nice smooth blending but again this is such a carefree product it's easy to use is very low committal in terms of the brush you use any mistakes what have you it's just very low risk and the color is amazing there's definitely a radiance to it that i think people gravitate towards they don't like a soft matte finish they like more of a luminous finish where the skin has some of that shine and you will definitely get that from the same next up we have the rare beauty warm wishes effortless bronzer stick this is in the shade always sunny and i brought this along for the ride if you haven't seen my travel makeup video i showcased how to choose less product and use a smaller makeup bag and one of my go-to items for makeups is just anything in a stick especially with this particular format i just showed it has a grid system you can stack the products upright back to the rare beauty my apologies for that tangent always sunny is a rich caramel with neutral undertones and here it is next to the say you can see immediately there's more pigment there's more payoff than what you find in the say and not to say that the say is bad i think for those who like more of a light bronzing dose if they don't feel comfortable with bronzer there's less of a learning curve with the say but i would argue the same for the rare beauty i'm not going to make that same mistake again if you know what i'm talking about because it is a stick i think intuitive to use literally drawing filling in the colors okay temple forehead hollows and jawline and again, I can take the same brush and just buff in that product. As you see, just smooth blend quickly here. The color is amazing. It has a warm, well, it's interesting. The description says neutral and I guess, and next to the say, maybe because there's a little more red in there, but neutral is interesting. On me, it definitely looks warmer than neutral perhaps my skin's undertone influences that that color shift but you're gonna get a little more from the say i would say the dry down is not as slick this is a little more serum skincare this is a little more not soft matte but it has a slight powdery finish to the skin that I feel really great for multiple skin types, even dry. So it's not gonna be powdery in finish, but there's definitely like a, a slight cream to powder influence, I, I think, in the texture, which makes it crazy easy to blend. Also great with the color payoff and looks flawless on the finish. So it, it's gonna deliver a little bit more coverage than you see here from the say and if you're one to use very little foundation maybe you use a tinted moisturizer or just concealer and you need your bronzer to get you a little more mm, then you can get a little bit more coverage from the rare beauty next up nars i initially was not going to get this and a note i forgot to include in my june faves which i mentioned this product in this does have fragrance and when i saw that it did i ignored it and then i saw it in the store had to buy it how that always happens it has a minoy oil scent which is uh, prevalent in a lot of nars products it's like you know at the beach type of a vibe not overwhelming doesn't stay on my face all day and that's why i decided to go with it because i did keep my receipt kept the box tried it out if i felt or thought i was in this minoy oil like umbrella of fragrance for several hours after applying then it was going to be a no-go but that didn't happen so we're safe here is the nars laguna cream bronzer this is in the shade laguna 3 described to be a medium bronze with warm undertone now on me this looks quite toasty and compared to the say and the rare beauty i think you can detect that immediately just for the sake of saving time i will keep the say on my skin and i'm doing that because as you see the say is so lightweight that 
it won't interfere with how the NARS looks. In fact, one of you had mentioned in, I think it was my favorites video, that you combine the NARS with the Say, and that is an exquisite combination. And I'm gonna show you why. Beware, the Laguna Cream packs a punch. And with that, I'll use a smaller brush and nudge this color right here high, high on the cheekbones, more specifically the hollows. I'll punch it in and I like to start high so the majority of the color stays where I want more of that sculpted feel to appear to deliver more of like that. But what I love about the color is just its toastiness, right? It has a ruddiness to it. If you can see the swatch again, there's like a little bit of red in there. I don't know what it is about the NARS. It delivers like that true burnt that we're never trying to achieve naturally, okay? Look to the skin, but with makeup and it's beautiful. I'll just wipe this off. I wanted to quickly show you how you can combine the NARS with the Say if, for instance, you wanted more of like a light bronzy hue on the cheeks and something more aggressive in terms of color in the cheekbones. I'm going to swirl in some NARS light reflecting foundation. A little goes a long way with this foundation just so you know it just oh look at that done this is the katie jane hughes and spectrum sorry brush collab not entirely sure if this brush specifically the o3 is sold separately if not i'll leave the link for the product page going back in to laguna 3 as you see packs a punch this definitely in terms of texture is more soft matte this is more soft matte than even the rare beauty but again i don't know what it is about this tone when it comes to nars and their bronzers they really i i i i, I don't know definitely giving me hardier sculpt vibes yes one can argue that this better applied in the hollows not great all the way down the cheeks but man oh man i don't know it's just something about this color teetering on muddy but not there not there probably i could experiment with applying this all over <laughs> that would be quite the tan mixing it with foundation of course i'm sure there are several ways you can apply the laguna cream bronzer you actually can do that with the say combine it with different complexion products to influence uh not only its finish but the actual color of the foundation but i do love the laguna for a little bit more sculpting but it's still going to give you that bronzy hue regardless we have now arrived the lys no limits cream bronzer stick cream bronzer and contour stick harmony i bought i was teetering between courage and harmony harmony is the medium shade and it has a triangular tip it has a mechanical twist and it stops each time so you feel where how high or how low you want to stay and with the rest Ooh, that's creamy. I would not suspect anything less from LYS. So here it is. You can see a little more neutral, like between the NARS and the uh, Rare Beauty. Hmm. Let's keep the NARS on this side and I will carefully wipe here. So we have the Rare Beauty on this side and shame on you. You know what happened last time when you relied on your viewfinder for makeup application, Alicia. Whipping on some NARS. All right, this packs a punch. I'm going to be very careful starting here in the hollows. Not too bad. It's a very creamy stick. And alert, alert, this is a first impressions. The previous products you just saw, I have used for, I think, months now. Maybe weeks, the NARS? No, I use the NARS for the month. What am I talking about? This I just cracked into the Sephora package. Brand new out of the box. And now let's punch it in. Let's see what we got. Very easy to blend. I believe this is more of a, like a satin, satin to soft matte finish. I have to look at the product page. A clean, talc-free, buildable cream bronzer that visibly sculpts, defines, and livens up the complexion with a silky smooth, blendable formula. So it doesn't really specify the dry down, but I can detect from here that is definitely a little more emollient than 
the Rare. Definitely more so than the NARS. More warm than Laguna 3. This is giving me a little more toaste oste. This is giving you a little more warmth. I quite like this color. Although it appears more neutral than the other shades here, it still provides a, a nice bronzy hue to the face. I was, again, toggling between Harmony and Courage, the more tan shade, but I think tan, I could have done tan too, but I like the intensity of this color because I can add my other bronzers if I wanted to just shift the color a little bit. I can also add a little more. So we popped on just a bit more here in the hollows of the cheeks. And that's lovely. I think that's very pretty. The consistency is very, very creamy. You can see just, yes, perhaps the fact that I just whipped on the NARS. So that didn't dry down completely. And I think that could influence whatever cheek product I decide to apply thereafter. But nevertheless, it just has a beautiful finish, even super easy to blend, great coloring. And it's a stick, which means great for travel, doesn't take up much space. As much as I love the say in the NARS, you know, these take up a lot more room surface area wise than a stick would as you find here in the LYS and in the Rare Beauty. The LYS definitely has a little more creaminess than the Rare Beauty. Again, the Rare Beauty has a slightly more powdery finish, but man, look at that luminosity at this time i should have already uploaded my vital surgeons toasted blush video dying to see how sublimate looks here on both sides now again this is where i applied the nars and ooh, i'm gonna just spread it here oh that's pretty i like that and lightly doing it here on the lys side I love a bronze cheek gradient because when you have so many products, I think it's fun to just experiment and see what concoctions you come up with. All right, we have the LYS side and the NAR side. The NAR is definitely more toasty, a little more sculpted in nature, and the LYS definitely more of like a tan, just a warmer delivery of color. And as you saw, a little goes a long way. This freaking stick is gonna last me forever, which is why I better not buy any more cream bronzer, whatever, going forward for a very long time. I'm talking to you, Alicia. Happy with the product so far. Fragrance-free, which I adore LYS for. I'm one for no fragrance in both makeup and skincare. I know how boring, but that's just my preference. All right, fam, we did all four bronzers. I hope this helped in you just seeing the swatches side by side, applying them one at a time, seeing them combined and whatnot. I'm happy with all of them. I think because they deliver different benefits in terms of the texture, the undertones, each one has a characterization that I can use if I need more sculpt, if I need more tan, if I need something like more all over, right? They're fantastic in that way and probably why I don't mind having so many different bronzer cream products because they do serve a different purpose. Now, sure, the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer could be number five and I know five is a better number than four, I guess, in YouTube land. Top five, my favorite five. When I saw that compact at Sephora, I just, I don't know. It's huge and don't want all that bronzer while I understand not just formulated for face, but for body too. Typically don't wear bronzer on my body. I feel like I will sweat it off. It'll get all over my clothes. I don't really know how the technology can achieve those feats. Like when it's 86% humidity, can cream anything really stand a chance on your skin without melting on other things? How is that possible? All to say, not a fan of that. That's why I thought it'd be a waste of money and just product to buy it just to try it. I'm sure it's fine. Like, 
I don't know if it'd be life changing, but I'm just so happy with the products that I currently have. Great that I picked up the LYS. I rather have a stick than another compact at this point. And if you wanted to quickly see my apologies for not doing this before when I was zoomed in, this is the No Limits Matte Bronzer Harmony. Wanted to show that next to the cream stick. And it is similar. You see that it has a lighter serving of color. You get a little more coloring from the stick, but I think the undertones are similar. And in the end, fam, you gotta choose what's best for your environment, for your makeup application style, for your skin type and condition, right? If you're super oily, cream anything doesn't stand a chance on your skin, then definitely go with powders for your weather foundation, uh, setting, cheeks, highlight, bronzer. I do love me a cream because they do blend easier and more into the skin than powders do. Powders nowadays are crazy good. The technology and the finely milled this and that definitely makes some powders look like you applied a cream just in terms of the finish. Ultimately though, I think a cream just delivers more of that skin-like effect where you have a little bit of that luminosity and radiance, which I think beautiful in the summertime, great in the fall winter as well especially if you are a dry skin type happy with all the bronzers hopefully this video helped let me know fam if you have any of these down below how you combine them what are your favorite shades what you might not like about them if you have any of these products i'll see you down there in those comments and until then fam that is a wrap thank you all so much for watching I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I will see you on here again. Another review tutorial, bronzer extravaganza, or some random travel makeup bag video again. You just never know. Take care, and I will see you again soon.